talk about bacillus anthracis. So what should be bacillus anthracis look like? So this is a bacillus anthracis. So these are the parts of bacillus anthracis. You can see that this is the capsule. This is the cell wall. This is the plasma membrane. This is the plasmid or the DNA. The cytoplasm. The flagellum, which is the cell, the tail. The nucleotide DNA the ribosomes and the pili. So bacillus anthracis looks like this when it is a microscopic as you can see. So this is my own model of bacillus anthracis. As you can see, nilagay ko po dyan yung mga parts niya. So ito yung flagellum na sinasabi ko kanina. Ito yung pili. Ito yung plasma membrane. Ito. Tapos, ito yung ribosomes, yung bilog-bilog. Tapos, ito yung nucleotide DNA, yung nasa gitna. Ito yung cytoplasm, yung color blue na to. to ganyan. And then, this is the plasma DNA, yung dalawang red. Tapos, yung capsule, itong pink. And ito yung cell wall, yung color yellow. Ayan. So, ito, this is my own model of Bacillus and what is Bacillus anthracis and how is it originated? Bacillus anthracis is the major member of the genus Bacillus, as it is notoriously a frank pathogen for skin and gut. Above all, for airways, where it caused the so-called or unfortunately famous often fatal anthrax. So what is anthrax? Anthrax is a serious infectious disease caused by a gram positive. It is a rod-shaped bacteria known as Bacillus anthracis. Anthrax can be found naturally in soil and commonly affects domestic and wild animals around the world. So how do people get infected with the so-called anthrax? So people get infected with anthrax when spores get into the body. When anthrax spores get into the body, they can be activated. When they become active, the bacteria can multiply, spread out in the body, produce toxins or poisons, and cause severe illness. Domestic and wild animals such as cattle, sheep, goats, antelope, and deer can become infected when they breathe in or ingest spores in contaminated soil, plants, or water. In areas where domestic animals have anthrax in the past, routine vaccination can help prevent breakout. Anthrax spores enter the lungs with the finest particles penetrating the deepest. As they enter the lungs, the spores are dormant, but they germ germinate into the, into the bacterial form called Bacillus anthracis. Once inside the lung, at this point, the body's immune system begins attacking the spores. So what are the most common victims? Anthrax most commonly occurs in wild and domestic animals like cattle, sheep, goats, camel, and antelopes. It also can occur in humans when they are exposed to infected animals or tissue from infected animals or following an intentional release of anthrax spores as an agent of biological war or terrorism. So where does the anthrax found? Anthrax is most common in agricultural regions of Central and South America, Sub-Saharan Africa, Central and Southwestern Asia, Southern and Eastern Europe, and the Caribbean. Anthrax is rare in the United States, but sporadic outbreaks do occur in wild and domestic grazing animals such as cattle or deer. Anthrax is more common in developing countries and countries that do not have veterinary public health programs that routinely vaccinate animals against anthrax. In the United States, yearly vaccinations of livestock is recommended in the areas where animals had anthrax in the past. So what are the symptoms if you have a anthrax? So a group of small blisters or bumps that may itch, it may look like this. Swelling can occur around the sore, a painless skin sore with a black center, that appears after the small blisters or bumps. Most often, sore will be on your face, face, neck, arms, or hand. So some inhalation anthrax symptoms can in include fever and chills, chest discomfort, shortness of breath, confusion or dizziness, cough, vomiting or stomach pains, 
headaches, sweats, often drenching, stream tiredness, and body aches. Is anthrax dangerous? So, ingestion of anthrax can cause serious, sometimes fatal disease. The most deadly form of inhalation anthrax if the spores of the anthrax are inhaled. They migrate to limp glands in the chest where they proliferate, spread, and produce toxins that cause often death. So what are the number of victims up to date? In the US, there have been 17 confirmed cases of anthrax infection. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, five of the inhalation victims have died. More than 10,000 people may have been exposed to the bacteria have been urged to begin taking antibiotics as a precaution. What are the most effective weapon against the bacteria? The standard treatment for anthrax is an antibiotic such as ciprofloxacin, deoxycycline, or the levofloxacin, which single antibiotic or combination of antibiotics and the length of treatment will be most effective for you to depends on how you were infected with anthrax your age, your overall health, and other factors. Treatment is the most effective when started as soon as possible. Although some cases of anthrax respond to antibiotics, advanced inhalation anthrax may not. By the later stages of the disease, the bacteria have often produced more to toxins than drugs can eliminate. Along with antibiotics, people with anthrax may be treated with intensive supportive care including ventilators, fluids, and medicines to tighten blood vessels and raise blood pressures. So that is Bacillus anthracis. I hope you learn and understand. Thank you for watching. Bye!